my name is Teresa from Outpost, the Pain and Turtles in Hospital Camp program, where we bring camp to you or wherever you are. I am so excited that you're here today because we are going to have a little bit of a frog race. So this activity is making an origami frog, and I'm going to show you how to do it and how you can race them. Um, you can race to yourself, you can race them with somebody else, and see whose frog can hop the fastest and hop the furthest. Here we go. To make origami frogs, you need a piece of paper and a pair of scissors. If you have origami paper, that is ideal, but if you don't, that's okay. I'll show you how to do it with just a regular colored piece of paper. To make any sort of origami, you need to start with a square sheet of paper. I have a rectangular piece of paper, and you might as well, so I'm going to show you how to make it into a square. Take the bottom right corner of your paper and fold it to the top left side so you have a triangle. You should have a rectangular piece at the top that's just left over. You're gonna cut along the top portion of your triangle so that extra rectangular piece of paper is no longer attached. Now you should have an even square with a diagonal line down the center. Take your now square sheet of paper and fold it in half diagonally along the creased line. Open it and fold it in half diagonally again in the other direction. When you open it, you should have an X across the middle of your square paper. Now take the bottom half of your square and fold it in half to the top so it looks like a hot dog or a taco. Now you should have an X across your paper with a line through the middle. This next fold is a tricky one. Grab both the left and right edge of your paper on your horizontally creased line and bring them together towards the middle. Push down on the top where your triangle is and smooth it out. You should now have a triangle on either side where the edges meet in the middle. Lay your triangle flat on a surface and take the bottom right corner and fold it up to the middle so you have a small triangle. Do the same on the left, so left bottom corner up to the middle. Then you're gonna take the outer edge of your right small triangle and fold that towards the center line. And then on the left, the outer corner and fold it towards the center line. You should now have what looks like a small kite lying on top of a large triangle. Flip your triangle over and take the top edge and fold it down to the center line. Smooth that out and do the same thing on the left. So take the outer edge and fold it down towards the middle. You should have sort of a diamond shape now on the back of your kite shape. Now we're gonna give this frog some legs. So take the middle of that diamond you just made and fold it out towards the outer edge. And same thing on the other side. Take the middle and fold it out toward the edge. These are your froggy's legs. And this is what it should look like so far. Now that our frog looks like a frog, we're going to bend it so that it actually hops. So we're gonna fold the feet across this line here, up towards its head. So fold these feet and legs up towards its head like this. Give it a good crease, especially if you're using thick paper. Flip it over and now fold them backwards the other direction. So you should have like a little step that you just created on your frog's bottom. 
Now you can push down and pull back on that step, and when you let go, your frog will hop forward. Hop. And if you would like, you can make multiple frogs and race them with somebody else or race against yourself and see if you can make your frog hop the fastest and the furthest across a table. Thanks for joining me to make some origami frogs. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, origami is pretty fun. Once you get the hang of it, you can make all kinds of stuff. Um, so maybe if you come back soon, we'll make some more origami together. Have fun. Bye. Thanks for joining us. To learn more about the Painted Turtle, a camp for children with serious medical conditions, visit our website, www.thepaintedturtle.org. See you next time.